Hello everyone. I am on location at a very new neighborhood being built in the south side of San Antonio, Texas. Now you're probably wondering why am I at this newly built neighborhood? Well, you'll see in just a second. At this new neighborhood, right across the street is the infamous abandoned insane asylum. Now, I was at this site about eight months ago or so, letting everybody know that something was being developed right across the abandoned insane asylum. And my theory was right, that they were going to build a new neighborhood across from the abandoned insane asylum and across from the active juvenile detention center. This right here just proves that San Antonio is bursting at the seams where they're building new neighborhoods across from abandoned buildings and an active juvenile detention center. Now I'm just giving an update here because I just want to show as proof that times are a changing, as Bob Dylan would say. When I first drove down this road when I was 16 back in like 2008, my friends and I would come up to this site and be spooked with how creepy this road was and us thinking at the time that this place was an abandoned insane asylum, which if you've seen my video about this place, it never was an abandoned insane asylum. But still there was some dark history at this old juvenile home for boys and poor farm and convalescent home. And back in 2008, this road was dark. All this area was just a field. And there was that story about the farmer who lived across the street who would fire his shotgun up in the air to scare people away. Also, at times, there would be a cop parked all the way at the end of the road over there, and he would shine his lights at people who were just driving down this road or who were thinking of possibly going into this abandoned place here. Today, as I mentioned, it is owned by Bear County, and the Sheriff Department, I believe, uses this site as a training facility. Uh, there's a road that goes down that way to a shooting range, I believe. Now, everyone loves to be scared at times. This place was the place to be for Halloween and to scare their friends or their significant others <laughs> that tagged along with them. Um, you know, back in the early 2000s, this place was easy to access. Uh, there was no gate whatsoever. It was just like a big pile of dirt blocking the entrance, but that wouldn't stop people from going inside this place. But as you see, yeah, barbed wire defenses surrounding this place. And there's a big gate here and there are trespassing signs that tells you that it's Bear County property and that violators will be prosecuted. And with this new neighborhood being built, it just takes away the spookiness of this road. In just a few short years, this whole piece of land here will be filled with new homes and people living here. This road where people barely drive on now will be driven from the people that live in this neighborhood. It's just crazy to think, you know, I'm already at that age where <laughs> I think about, well, back in the day, there was nothing here, but now we have new neighborhoods being built 
in the outskirts of San Antonio. It's just, it's crazy. It really does show how San Antonio is growing.